Hello and welcome to another episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with my people, Ewa Ritu and Ife Olu It's good, yo. Good, good, good. 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 How are you doing? Are you strong? Uh, Were you sleeping you, before you know, came back? You know, when the camera comes alive, I was alive. Mm. So, you know, You're connected. Yeah, so, my people, you see, we're awake for you. What's up? Let's do this. <laughs> I can't wait for a first analysis this oh, which afternoon. One? Which one? All the stories. Oh, really? Let's, but let's I'm share. waiting on. Let's um, share. What are the stories? I don't even know the stories. They just come naturally. Yeah. Okay, so let's God. see. Okay, <laughs> moving on real quick. A judge has ordered Jay Z to sit for a film deposition in eighteen million dollars fragrance lawsuit. Mm. The lawsuit by Palux um, alleges that Jay Z did not promote gold Jay Z. That's a fragrance the rapper made in collaboration with the company in 2016. Um, he's been accused of breach of contract and is seeking a return of advance payments and royalties as well as 18 million dollars in punitive damages <laughs> the deposition was initially scheduled for august 27 but was cancelled by jay-z when he discovered it would be filmed the judge also rules that jay-z must pay the cost to cover the cancelled august 27 deposition so i think the judge is really angry okay so <laughs> okay, so um, as far as I'm concerned, I think there's a breach of contract on Jay-Z's part because if you're paid to promote a particular brand, mm -hmm. that you're also, your name is part of the brand, the mm -hmm. Jay-Z Parlux Mel Fragrance. I think it's called Gold Jay-Z. Yeah, Gold something, yeah, yeah Gold, gold Jay-Z, Jay yeah. yeah. So if your name is part of a particular, well, anything my name is involved in, I like to keep it 100. So mm. as long as my name is there, then I think I'll do the needful. Do right. you understand? So if Jay-Z didn't do the needful, but I like where he's also coming from. He has realized that, look, it's a global brand. It's mm. not just anybody. It's over. This was in 2016. Yeah. Okay. And this the the position is not for twenty sixteen. It's supposed to happen soon enough. No, no, no they August. want him to keep promoting the, the, the Yeah, but well the, it depends on what the agreement is. Supposed to have one August. Yeah. yeah. I know, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That the deposition was supposed to be this mm. year, right? Oh okay, so, talking about Yeah, the I'm talking about okay. the deposition. Okay. And then he has now realized that look, I'm not that Jay Z of twenty sixteen. I'm mm. not that Jay Z of twenty fifteen. So right now there's gonna be a watermarked video. By Three it. watermarks. Yeah. Mm. So their brand will have their own video. Mm -hmm. His brand will have his own video. And the court will have to now destroy the, the original. original video. I think and that's it, because he's scared of um, the video um, leaking being out. Being leaked mm. and being taken out of context. Mm -hmm. So it is what I'm putting out there. And the court has agreed that, okay, this is fine to go out there. Mm. Then that is what will go out there. But if it's not agreed by the court, then we'll do it all over again. Mm. But I'm a brand. And it has to be watermarked. So you can't let people take my video and take Just me out of content for whatever and use it for whatever they want. So I like the angle, Jay-Z. is showing you that he's a it's proper businessman, which is understandable why he's the um, richest, um, or why he's the billionaire rapper. <laughs> I don't know what going to say, but Kanye has taken over. Mm. But anyways, um, you want to ask No, Kanye is the most paid artist. He's not a billionaire. Is the most paid hip hop artist. He's not yet a billionaire. Jay Z mm. is standard uh -uh. a billionaire. Kanye is not yet a billionaire. <laughs> yeah, Kanye is the most paid hip hop artist. They're okay, different. until I They're until different. I confirm because you're like, you're trying to. You know when they say you're playing okay, with Okay, don't, don't let me say that. Don't let me say Because I know we talked yeah. about okay, it. Okay, yeah. Don't let me, but I want to tell you that like he actually overtook Jay-Z to Jay number one. As the highest paid hip-hop Don't worry, we'll, we'll confirm, confirm this. Yeah. Yeah. On this one, on this story. Yeah, on, right. I think I agree with what Ife has said. On Kanye's side, it's just, um, on sorry, <laughs> Jay-Z's Jay side, he's just trying to be extra careful. I mean, we've seen other celebrities that their videos have been have been leaked out and has been taken out of context. Mm -hmm. He's just trying to be on the civil side. side and it's not the kind of actually of twenty seventeen. This Kanye, is I mean, Jay -Z. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jay Z I we'll mean put the whole Kanye in your mouth. You know, and then I, I, I agree with what Fair said, mm. yeah. Well let's look at what um he's been accused of doing. I, I, is it a case of not promoting it at all? Or that you feel that he did not it promote it enough. as much as you expected? As much as they expected. And particularly about him making a video. Oh, so he didn't yeah, make a video? Yeah, the video was basically the main problem. Mm -hmm. Maybe he doesn't like the smell. 
<laughs> and they will tell them yeah. now. Nah, they, they will go back and yeah, and work you know, on it. You know, if it's not there's certain contracts it. that you take on, and then you just feel like, okay, this it's a mouth watering deal. Like, okay, let me just jump on this. They smell you like. I just sign okay. No one to rep this brand. <laughs> so he could actually have that conversation mm. with them. So What if I mean, they're not ready to change <coughs> But at the end, yeah, know how much true. they have invested. But at the end of the day, it's still about what's in the contract. Mm. You, you let's see specific? what the deposition will be at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, let's not talk yeah. about it much. Okay, so moving on from that one to the next story. Kelly Rowland reportedly splits from her husband, um, Tim Weatherspoon. Okay, she has further fueled this rumor as she has been spotted a couple of times without her wedding ring. She's also been attending events also recently, which is quite uncharacteristic of Kelly. So um, she's the kind of person that will always be at all the events with her husband. But now and she's I'm doing... very sad. I don't like all this... Um, breakup stories. Mm -hmm. I've been having so them much frequently, them. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm really sad, but I just hope that this is not true because it's still a rumor. She so has why not is she said wearing her wedding band? <laughs> people are already talking. Mm. Maybe she just wants people to talk more and then mm. she'll just come as a surprise. Well, good. I'm just open because I really don't want. I mean, they've been together for a very long time. Five years. Five years. That's a marriage, five years. Yeah. Maybe the third, 2011. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a really long time. I really don't want them to break up or get divorced, however it is. Mm, they look but, sweet together. Mm, I just want to believe that is a rumor because the source is the army, but they, they could not get this gist because mm. she's really very private. So mm. I hope that she's really private and then this rumor is not true. Mm. Well, um... I think there's something that goes wrong when you mix um, business and pleasure. I don't know. But it's hard for you to find two people working together and they're in a relationship and it lasts long because money, they say, is the root of all evil. Tunde and Wumiobe. Tunde and Wumiobe. We need to bring those two on time. <laughs> really? <laughs> I really don't want to say what yeah. I want to say. Okay. But, um, they're, they're family friends, so mm. I'll work on that. Okay, oh. please do. Yes. Thank you. So, um, like I was saying, it's hard. I did not say it's impossible, mm. but it's very difficult. Witherspoon was a manager, Tim, was a manager for a long time um, before they got married. He was a manager way before they got married. And then when they got married, obviously, business stuff, okay, there's a flight ticket saying, oh, you need to come perform in Canada, but it's only um, a flight ticket for one person. You're the only one allowed to come. And then you're like, are you joking? I've never been to Canada. You know, it will bring about quarrels. But why would you even want me to come and perform without my manager? That's not even possible. Yeah. No, I'm just no it's um, um, hypothetically speaking. It's not in the real sense. Okay. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm giving an example, example like of they have things to be that, separated. Yeah, yeah, that can really happen. Mm -hmm. And then, so I don't know. I just know money and um, relationships don't really mix. Or business and relationships mm. don't mix. So sometimes it works like the example you gave, Tundi and Wumiobe. But the fact that they're not in the public eye with their issues don't mean they don't have their issues. Every, uh, all relationships, yeah. whether, whether you if are you're in business <laughs> together, as or long or as in, it's in friendship, fighting for a relationship, issues. even as and colleagues. And your ratio in sharing is equal. A manager and an oh, artist ratio is love, not. That one is love equal. It's do you love get ahead? It's, it, the ratio is equal. A manager and an artist is different. I'm paying you 10%. I'm probably paying you 20%. I'm probably paying you 30%. And you know how much I'm making now. I just made a million dollars and I'm telling you, oh, our son needs pampas. Are you joking? Well, and then out of the three, really yeah. so yeah. you know, all these are still rumors. You're yeah. already giving us this. No, I'm just saying, like, I. I, I haven't gotten to the point mm -hmm. now. I've just been giving an example. Uh, when if I did like this at the beginning, mm -hmm. if I was to the point, I did not yes. know you have not gotten there. Right on, brother. So what I was trying to say is that I don't know why relationships and um, business don't really work out because mm -hmm. a lot of them break up. Look at Kevin Hunter and um, Wendy Williams. Look, at, I can give you examples. We know, that one is if fidelity that is this problem. 
I can give you a series of examples mm. of people that they work together and they're no longer together. Mm. So this is really sad. But you know one thing I liked about this close sources of theirs? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't come out and say, oh, yes, yeah, so uh, mm. she uh, he, he was they the one know. that did this. Know. So she's a very private person that they've also heard the rumors, mm. but they don't. I think that was but like I feel sweetest. like I want to. And I was so happy, yeah. like, I, saw that, I, I was boss. like, oh, I think this is my boss out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like just, because the mom about to just spill. They will lie, you. I'm mm. telling you. I feel you. like I want to go with you because the last time she posted any video about both of them was in August, late August, and mm. that's like what, a a month. two months ago, thereabouts, right? When what did the fight start? Working? When did you decide to start the divorce proceedings? Mm. Like there, there was probably there is probably a problem. Maybe they had an not issue. As huge but, as yeah. people are making this. I hope. I, I hope. hope. <laughs> anyway, it's time for a quick break. But when we return, it's will be time for some more stories. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. And people are still by. Some side they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on to the next story. Peter Okoye slams follower who insulted his music after begging him for money on Instagram. Mm. If I... <laughs> Why are you guys coming to me? Like? Because, because you, you already told us about the beginning that you are to, you no, know. Nah, I was just stretching. No, no. You are showing no. power, so you have it's to been, prove no, to no, us now. No, I was now. stretching. Like, when the camera comes alive, I come alive for you guys. Uh, you okay, what? now yeah. you are alive yeah. for yeah. us. Okay, so now that I'm alive, I'm a Peter Okoye and the Bega Saga. Okay, so... um. First of all, I think it's very mature of Peter to bring this out. I understand that it's very wrong for that guy to um, do that. But I think the things that as a public figure you really shouldn't put out there, I think it's very mature. In my opinion, I wouldn't do that. I'd probably just look at the message and ignore. You understand? I'd be like, I share it with my friends. I talk about it. But I won't copy and paste and then share your handle. Even if I'm going to do that, I'll probably scrap it out. Because now that's like... Yeah, um, you have more followers than this person. Mm -hmm. You have more people than this person. If your people decide to come for this person, then probably you never know what this could lead to. Do you understand? Mm. That's my opinion. Now, back to that guy. <laughs> back to that guy. <laughs> never buy okay. the end. The finger that feeds you, right? Mm. And then you want yeah, somebody. Not you. Yeah, yeah, not you. That's what I'm saying. You now want somebody to feed He's you. He's already burning the pot. No, no, it's two years ago. Already, you're burning everything. <laughs> no, no, I think what this guy, what this guy I think did. This is, guy should have been going to years. comment and be like, what a wonderful audio money no, 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 it, song of the year. No, you understand? I'm putting it there. <laughs> See, I think that guy said that out of anger. It's, no, it's been two that years that, that Peter money. has been ignoring this guy. Um, Do you understand? So, okay. probably, <laughs> <laughs> that, so there is no hope like, again. This can't guy just, cannot feed me. Let me just let say my mind. Your song is not <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think um, I would agree with um, if first saying that mm -hmm. Peter was immature to bring it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you've ignored him for two years as he has asked you for money, do you mm -hmm. get? Now, because most people, actually, when I recommend, most people actually feel like. Peter was probably pained by what he said, and that's why he brought it out. If you're not so, do you know how many people that think that the song is not okay? But now, because you have something against this guy, because he came to ask you for money that you didn't even give to him. And then you now had the time to go and search, search for, for his, his name. Message. Like, and, come on. Uh, no, that no, was you didn't really. Need to search. What he needs to do is to you just type it and do. No, just... not even uh, the, the comments. Just click on the comment. It takes you to his profile. You click on message. Do you know how much so that means he really you know wanted that to is. reply and that person. Yeah, so I mean, like, so okay, you so you actually. So saw my message, you, you are capable of helping me. Somebody said this book, please, okay, I hope my life. 
It's a simple thing. What's the title and did you read the story? Question, I think audio money, audio money with um, Shatter Bundu, the Ghanaian dwarf. <laughs> no, we shut up Bundu, but Shatter Bundu was, Shata Bundu was, was in the video. video. <laughs> hey, we Shatter Bundu, Shata Bundu, Shata Bundu was in Lagos, I think, two weeks ago. Yeah. Because, yeah, I saw a couple of videos they shared together mm. when he was in um, Peter's house. There's a lot of Bundu, though. We brand influencer. That said he's richer than whiskey. I know that. Yeah, I know I know the human being. What does he do? <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <laughs> it's an influencer It's not now. an influencer. It's just somebody that <laughs> makes us laugh. Let's just put it that way. I mean, so many brands are already paying him to do mm -hmm. adverts. Yeah, they said, no, they said, they said he wasn't making money because, um, okay. okay so here we go again. You know what? I didn't notice that this beggar, sorry, or the, <laughs> what's the name of the guy? Um, that he was He's like, an online beggar. It's okay. Oh, okay. I didn't notice that it was that long. 20 words, like two years ago, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And then maybe... Uh, Coming from that part, I would say maybe he's immature. But if this person begs you this the, year, to, No, of course not. No. Eh, I'm it all out for calling back. people out. Mm. You, you should stop throwing things at celebrities because you feel they are public figures. They are not allowed to respond. They are not allowed to say anything. So because that message has been so long, it's possible that he was even in the begging space then and now he has blown. It's like, yeah, you know. I'm seeing diamond it's, in it's his name. Yeah. Yeah. How can you be begging and have diamond in your hand? Though? What's your problem? <laughs> this guy, I mean, did this, you go to his page? Did I didn't go to the page. I, I was scared though. I did you? Do you now there's a handle now. The handle is there now. Oh, Something you know, you know, damn. You know, I'm thing. sure his account is probably on private right now, but I didn't And even though he's not on private, do you know how many people that have visited that page and a lot of people are probably following? Let, let us even see this arrow right. wolo, diamond. It just gave me cheap publicity. That's what I'm saying. As a public figure, as a celebrity, there's certain things you ignore. Do you know how many people that think, like you said, that that song is not even good enough? Mm. I don't think it's a song I want to download and be bumping in my car. I don't want to be bumping that car. The only reason this, I even this watched this the video that... is because I saw Shatabon doing it. <laughs> Do you understand? That's, that was the reason I actually wanted to see I the know video. The song, so I, 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 okay, I, can I, you I imagine? can't even sing it either. You don't even know the song. I've seen, okay, imagine. The I've, video that I've comes seen to the... mind, I I'm not sure it's a Shatabon <laughs> The one that people were moving their shorts. No, no, no. That one is different. Ah, that one is different. Yeah, okay, so I'm not, I'm, 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 where are you? You're so, you're so 2016. Like. <laughs> this song that you don't like is what you're asking me where I'm at. At least we know the song. You, at least I don't count on you. Can, which like Johnny Drill. Oh. Do you not count on you two? That they did in 1988. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next story. Regina Daniels' mom says her new film cost over 150 million naira. This is coming a few days after she released the trailer to the film, which features herself, Regina Daniels, Runaya Mali, Shola Shobo Wale, Bola Leni Nowo, and Jide Kosoko. The movie is set to have a very strong societal message and should be hitting the cinemas very soon. I think 11th of October or thereabouts. Mm, yeah. So um, I like that she's doing this, like from a, a personal place and um, the kind of backlash she got when she, when she got married to her husband, you mm. know, people. Oh, had, Regina? Yeah. Or her mom? Regina. Regina. Okay. Who is the owner of the movie? Is Regina? No, I'm no, mom. A mom is actually mom the director that, yeah. and producer. Regina is just starring in the movie. So who owns the 150 million? Who is the executive I'm producer? Mom. A mom. Ah. Who paid? Is the question. Yeah. That we don't have yeah. The to. <laughs> no. We don't know who paid. We don't know who paid. But, but we, we know, we know who producer. paid, but we don't know who paid. Yeah, yeah, but, but we know who paid. Our mom is the owner of the movie, yeah. yeah it's so not the mom Regina's has 150 million. Or she got investors to ah, Yeah, investors. Do you know yes. what I mean? Ah. Ah. It's like you don't even understand. As I said, she's doing it. I am in 2016, my dear. Please take over. Go ahead. No, but I saw the trailer of the movie, mm. and to be honest, um, I'm not surprised this pumped in 150 Yeah, and it's yeah. a movie I actually want to, when it's out, I would want to go to the but cinema I'm worried. to watch. I, I, it's something I want to watch with all these conversations. No, no, no. If you want to. Why would that I won't be satisfied? Why? So I'm sorry, let me say why. Because I watch not just Chief Daddy vibe. I think it to be funny, you would enjoy yourself to a point, but mm. Regina Daniels is in the movie, right? Mm. And then in one part of the trailer she was saying something about I spent twenty five years to groom myself for this position. Mm. And I mean, Regina Daniels herself is only up 25 years old, right? And I feel like she wasn't right for that role. Her voice was, Come even on. her charisma. No, no don't do I, that. that is how don't I feel. No, okay, okay. I feel her voice and her okay, charisma that's how you was, feel. was not going to interpret that. In fact, I saw her first and she was saying, telling someone, she was trying to be bossy. I mean, that's the character in the movie, being yeah. bossy. And I wasn't seeing the bossy. And she, I, I, I feel I, like she's not getting well. I love this. So, so, yeah, yeah, that was, was what I really admired well. the most that this young girl can actually mm. take on this I role. Hope, I hope I'm disappointed. Uh, so yeah, from what no, I'm saying, they disappoint me, are and you then serious? meet a certain standard. But I feel like 
there is something off somewhere. And me, like, ah, when I saw that, she, I, I, like, I, I, she really acted it well. She played her role well. And Perfect. that's one of... On the, I'm very surprised that because what? I've not seen her in that kind of movie before. Oh, okay, that's so the fact that... <laughs> I was just going to say, the first time I ever saw Regina Daniels mm. in a movie mm. was just this weekend. Oh, Are you serious? Yeah, I was in the hospital and then and they were showing something on African. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, they were just showing it and it was all this epic thing. And yeah, I was like, about oh, epic This is the first movie. time I'm seeing Regina Dyer on screen. They've been saying she's an actress, she's an actress. I've never, ever seen Are her. Are you serious? Never. No, I've seen her in epic movies. So when I saw this thriller, for in my all, in all honesty, if I'm supposed to rate her, I'll rate her nine. Because I'm very surprised. She sounded well. Her English was so just nice. and seen her. Yeah, it is on what you know. No, I, I feel like the way she yeah, acted, from the she, trailer. yeah, from the, no. trailer. From the trailer. I, I would rate her nine. From the trailer. Sorry. Okay, so back to this. Um, forget Regina Daniels' role now. Let's mm. focus on the 150 million that was spent. Mm. Um, if we actually want to go there, mm -hmm. I think um, I would say that it's really, really possible that they spent the 150. There was a private jet involved. There was a Brabus. There was mm. a Rolls Royce. There was Naira Mali. We had Bolan Lane in all over. We had Shalashi uh, Bowale. We had Gide Kusoko. We had Desmond Elliott. We had. Mm. I wasn't. I wasn't. Um, no, no, no. That no, was no, spent. no. I'm it's just saying. Okay, I'm talking now, I'm saying let's forget okay. all of that and okay. focus on this the headline itself. Mm. And so I'm like, okay, to pay all these people to even start with is not so cheap. Right. Especially when they are with this hot cakes mm. right now, like Shalashu Bawali, like um, Bolan Lini Noluwo, he traveled all the way from, mm. he's now based in America, he's not even based in Nigeria anymore. He traveled all the way from to, um, from America to Nigeria, Nigeria to come and act in your movie. Mm. They used a private jet, Nayamali was in a private jet, Nayamali is also hot right now, mm. you know? I yeah. mean, even the, um, so, Apartment, the house used in the movie. Is Everything wrong. was on point. It was just when the plane was. <laughs> <laughs> if I stop it, I'm that's getting there. That's the part that well, I keep on. That's the part that I keep on. The plane was what? I don't plane fly. <laughs> God. Is this how the plane feels? Because that plane looks like it was crashing. <laughs> if, uh, and the private jet they entered was different from the one in the sky. God. Okay, that's how we wrap up this <laughs> episode of Tea Time. Of course, we'll be looking out for this movie to see it and then come and talk about it again. Well, thank you for watching. And remember, like I always say, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa to watch this episode or anyone you must have missed and all our exclusive content. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my awesome co anchors Ife Oluo Shokaye and Ewa Ritu and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and be good. Thank you.